Hello buddies, I know you might have seen or you might have tried other Ghana buns recipe or dry buff root or dry Nigerian puff puff or Ghana tobey but believe me this particular one is a game changer. When you try this particular recipe you are not going to love any other Ghana buns recipe. Trust me trust the process so let me take you step by step how you can make the most amazing Ghana buns recipe very smooth dry and oilless taste amazing <laughs> so first you start by measuring your flour for this recipe I use 500 grams of all people's flour to that I added one of our 40 spoon of turmeric powder but if you have egg yellow or any good yellow food color is better you add it to the liquid one teaspoon of milk powder flavor one over four teaspoon of mi spice one over eight teaspoon of cinnamon powder two grams of instant dry yeast next we start going in with water but it's not, there was something that i didn't remember to add here i supposed to have added my sugar at this point but i totally forgot adding it at this point although i added it later after i i finished adding the water i remember that i didn't add it so this was the point when i remember that i have not added my sugar so i added 70 grams of sugar and also my salt so i added 70 grams of sugar like i said then i added 7 grams of salt next i went in with 10 grams of margarine you can also use butter so after adding the margarine i added extra 40 grams of room temperature water making it 240 grams of room temperature water so after adding it i made sure that i combine everything so that there will not be any traces of dry flour in the uh, mixture I make sure that my dough forms so well then I added extra spoon butter to soften the dough just this way so once I was done doing that I sprinkled a little bit of flour then transfer this on my work surface but please like I said the sugar and the salt should be added while you are why the you are measuring the flour okay add it with the flour after measuring the flour adding the cinnamon and all that and the sugar at that same time and the salt also at that same time please so once i was done combining and forming my dough i went ahead and started kneading this dough you all should have known me by now that if i'm to knead my dough using hand this is how i do it okay a lot of people have the way they make their own or they need their dough but this is basically how i need my dough to soften it and to give me that fluffiness and that um, um softness that i want so after that i had to cover this dough after needing it i had to cover it for 30 minutes so after the 30 minutes i went ahead sprinkled some flour on my work surface then i said i started cutting and scaling the dough so i scaled this dough each 70 grams so each dough ball is 70 grams so after scaling 70 grams each i molded each of these 70 grams into dough balls like mold them into balls i made a video on how to mold your dough balls so you can go and watch that video so you understand how to mold your dough balls <laughs> you know i always like to make things easier for you all so that you wouldn't have any reason to complain of anything yes so for and also for the meat spice i use in this recipe i will drop a video on how to make your own meat spice in case you can't get anyone in the market because the meat spice you use in baking is different from the one you use in your normal cooking they are totally different so once you are done making your dough balls you have to cover it to prove for one hour 30 minutes and after one hour 30 minutes your dough ball must have proven so well and you are ready to fry ensure you heat up your oil to medium heat make sure that the heat of your oil is not too high please and then you drop in your dough balls to fry and when they are frying make sure you monitor the heat while they fry and turn them around in the oil from time to time so one side will brown leaving the other side not being brown as well okay so you need to turn them turn them around in the oil from time to time until they turn light golden brown then you can take them out from the oil 
So my special greetings today will go to all of you once again for engaging on my videos, my top fans, those that always encourage me on this platform and those that always share my videos. Please help me to share my videos to reach out to other people. Help me to watch my videos to the end so that my videos can be recommended to others. Please, if you love me. <laughs> So guys, like I say, once they are like God you brand, take them out from the oil and let them cool down completely. Believe me, this is so oil-less. As you can see, it doesn't have too much of oil and it's so fluffy in the inside and so soft. Like the reviews I got from this particular cannabis was massive. And believe me, when you try it, you will also get the best reviews ever. See you guys in my next one. Till then.